taking a peek at the key fob for the Bronco Sport. So you've got the Bronco lettering along the very back, unlock button, lock button, remote start, corner panic alarm, and then normally there'd be the emergency access key down there, but this thing literally just landed. But you could enter the emergency access key there in case the fobs ever died. There are some pretty cool things that you can do with the fob too. So first one, I guess, is remote start. So you can press the lock button once, circle button twice, in order to remote start the vehicle, and then you press that circle button again once in order to be able to cancel the remote start. Then you can also use the key fob to roll the windows down. So you press the unlock button twice. On the second button press, you're going to hold. So it's one, two, and hold. Once the windows start rolling down, you can release. Then you can lock in order to stop it part way. Or same idea, you press again twice in order to keep the process going. So it's powered down for both the driver and for the passenger side. And then one really cool thing is that it's also power up. So you press the lock button twice on that second button press. Same idea, you're holding. As the windows go up, you can release, press unlock deposit, or press the lock button again twice in order to continue the cycle. So really, really useful feature. Now, if for whatever reason that's not working in your Bronco Sport, all you're gonna do I love that. Look at that startup. Beautiful. So what you're going to do, go through your vehicle settings there. There are tons of different things, but the big one that we're looking for is vehicle. And then scrolling down, you've got windows. So you're going to go windows and make sure that remote open and remote close are both available there. It's really cool. And then even for the remote start, you can go through, you can disable the remote start. And then with the remote start, what happens? Does the vehicle determine what the cabin temperature should be, or is it based off of your last setting? Do you want to have the heated steering wheel seats come on as available automatically? And then how long do you want the remote start to last? So either 5, 10, or 15 minutes. Uh, that's the basics, and that's a pretty cool key fob trick that you've got available for the Bronco Sport.